x v plus x squared plus two. I have the question. Okay, you can go ahead. Mm -hmm. I have a question. Yes, question. I have two questions. Mm -hmm. The first one, I didn't get how you moved from one plus three over x squared minus one mm -hmm. to now x to now three x three over x minus one x plus two. And then do you want to use long division to divide? So, you can just cancel. We can't just see. Do you only use the division? So we apply the same concept where we say if you have one, if you have let's say for example you have x over x minus one squared, we say this part here is equals to a, first of all, I can just, in, in case maybe you are finding challenges, just write your denominator. First thing here, you write this the way it is, this x minus one, plus, you don't know what's supposed to be here. Now, since this is going to be increasing, we only have a square outside, it will be increasing by one. So this it is like this, the next it will be, it will be x minus one squared. But since we are ending at squared, it will just end just there. Now, if you ask yourself this part here, you see, is this a linear or a quadratic or So this is a linear, so it will just be A. You come this side here. This, is this a linear or quadratic? It's a linear, so it will be B. Next, we have X over X squared plus one, like this, and then we we'll square. So this is equals to, I will ignore what is on top there, and then I'll write this, what is inside here. X squared plus one. Plus, I'll ignore what is to be on top. And then I'll write now this to square it now. So it's X squared plus one squared. So you ask yourself now, this that I have here, is this linear? Is this quadratic or is it repeated? So this is quadratic. So if it is quadratic on top there, I'm supposed to have two. I'm supposed to find two values, A and B. So this will be A x plus b like that this is for quadratic now you come here again this is what i have is it linear quadratic it's quadratic so this will be c x plus d like that so with that it will be it has become easier for us now to see what is going to happen on that question which is written there so you ask you so when you look at the highest power there is three and here x squared to the power, when you square this, it will give us x to the power 4. So here there is only to first divide it. We'll just go direct because our numerator here, the highest power is 3, and our denominator, the highest power is 4. So that one has been simplified for us. No need to divide it. Then this is equals to, so you start the process inside here. This is x squared plus two plus you this to square it x squared plus two squared and then the highest you can go is dusty everything raised to the power two that's the highest you can go the furthest you can go after we've done that now we ask ourselves now this part is this quadratic linear is quadratic. So what are we going to write here? Someone to give me what I'm supposed to write on top, and the other lady to give me what I'm supposed to write there. First, first, guys, a guy to start. For a x plus b. At a. A x plus b. Okay, correct. So a x plus b. A guy now to give me what is supposed to be written there. Okay, there are no guys here. X plus D. At it? X plus D. Okay, correct. 
So since these are quadratic, so it will be CX plus D like that. So we are done with that question. So that is remaining, we will find the common denominator here. So when you look at this, this is the same as that. This, you, this can go into that. So meaning that the common denominator is just that part which is there, X squared plus two squared. Then you start. This divide by that to give us a x plus b, and then x squared plus two. Then this divide by that it's one. One multiplied by that it will just be c x plus d, and then this is equated to x three plus x plus two over x squared plus 2 squared. So when you multiply both sides by the reciprocal of this, you are going to discover that this is going to vanish. Even this is also going to vanish. You multiply this, you multiply it by itself, it will cancel. When you multiply this side, it will cancel with this. So I'm just going to remain with just this part and that part which is over there. So hence, we remain with 3x plus x plus two equals to ax plus b x squared plus two plus cx plus d. You can simplify this section, this part which is here. So we'll start with ax multiplied by x squared, it is a x to the power three. ax multiplied by two, plus 2a x b multiplied by x squared plus b x squared b multiplied by 2 plus 2b plus c x plus d this is equals to x3 plus x plus 2 now the coefficient we start with the coefficient of x to the power 3 so coefficients x to the power three, this side is one, this side is a. Do you have any? There's nothing. Now coefficient of x to the power two, coefficient, coefficient of coefficient of x to the power two. We don't have x to the power two this side. Oh, actually it's x to the power two. X to the power two. X to the power two. So here it's one equals two. We have two here, so it's B plus C. Okay. Then what about here? to the power X coefficient of just X? This side you don't have X, so it is zero equals to x here we have two a x here we have plus c and then constant constant here we have a two which is x this x this x okay that's a constant in that part so you have two b plus b those are constants so now if a is one C here is going to be negative two. So we have equation one, equation two. Madam. Equation four, yeah. This is just uh, B is the one with uh, X squared. Thank you very much. You are right. Yeah, B the one that has x squared, correct? So if A is one and B is one, so what is going to be the value of C? So from three here, one is A, we put a one. So we're going to have zero is equals to two plus C, implying that C is equals to negative two. So C is equals to negative two. So you see it's equals to negative two. What do you think the value of D is going to be? 
So already here, our b is one. When you put a one here, we're going to get two is equal to two plus d, implying that two, two minus two, it will, it will give us a zero. And d. so we have a is equal to one, b is equal to one, c equals to negative two, and d equals to zero. So we are after we have found all the values, we just replace in our equation. Let me write the value of C somewhere this side. I'll say C is equals to negative two. So in conclusion, therefore, X three plus X squared plus two over X squared plus two squared. This is equals to a is one, so one multiplied by x, it is x plus b, which is one over x squared plus two. C here is negative four, negative two, so negative two, negative two x, our d is zero over x squared plus two squared. So that is our answer. Any question? Because that's the last question. We just to it.